Hey everyone, we're back here in Bali and we're looking at some attacks from the turtle positions, specifically clock choke. We're going to use that clock choke uh, to set up when our opponent rolls into the turtle position. And also we're going to use those same grips to uh, set up our rolling bow and arrow choke. So if you like what you see, make sure to like and subscribe. Now go train. All right, so we just kind of looked at a couple situations that lead us into the turtle position. I'm going to give you guys like a really simple lapel choke you can do from here called the clock choke. A uh, really simple technique for you to practice, and uh, it's going to open up a lot of other attacks. So again, when I'm here uh, in that in that turtle position, when, when I turn the corner here, what I'm going to look to do is I'm going to look to open Aaron's lapel. Okay, uh, sit up real quick from here. If you guys look at Aaron's lapel, it doesn't actually go all the way across his neck. So anytime I do a lapel choke, I'm trying to use the seam of Aaron's E to choke him. So go ahead and come back down. So when I'm here, what I'm gonna to look to do with Aaron's lapel is flip it. I wanna flip it open. Okay, my right hand is gonna go thumb inside his gi, and I'm gonna grab with four fingers on that lapel. Now from here, my left hand is gonna make a fist, and I'm gonna punch the floor. That's gonna be my balance point, okay? I wanna put my weight on that hand. It also keeps my weight over his hip so it stays heavy. Now, I'm gonna walk out with my legs, and I'm gonna turn and face Aaron and sprawl. From here, all I'm gonna do is cast my wrist. So a cast in your wrist is like this, like you're casting a fishing pole. We want that flat surface, and when we use that flat surface, it helps cut off that carotid artery on the right side a little bit better. Okay, so again, when I'm here with Aaron, all I'm doing is flipping his lapel. My right hand's going thumb inside the jacket. Okay, my left hand goes back to the mat, and I'm gonna turn over Aaron and I'm gonna sprawl. So I wanna make sure my hips stay heavy here. Pulling that elbow in, I cast my wrist and I get the lapel choke. Okay, so if you guys look at this off our last sequence we did in the previous videos, I could be here with Aaron, or Aaron's shooting a triangle, forcing Omoplata on me, but I flip Aaron over. Okay, as I flip Aaron over, this is a great time for me to flip the jacket, step forward, turn in and sprawl and finish the clock choke. So tons of different entries to clock choke. I hope you guys like it. Now let's give it a shot. One, two.